Yeah, no, I know, I know. I couldn't believe it was an elephant either. No, I know. It wasn't a duck after all. That's crazy. Oh, wait. Sorry, Grandma. One second. Hey, guys. Welcome to math. So we're talking today about multiples. Now, a multiple just means that um, I can take a number and I can make it into other numbers by adding it multiple times. And so, for example, a multiple of five, okay, I can make by doing five and then five plus five, which is 10, or five plus five plus five, which is 15, and so on and so on. Now, the thing to know here is that repeated addition, doing this is the same as this, as five groups of three or five groups of four, or five groups of five. All multiplication is, is adding groups of that number, okay? Those are called multiples. And one way we can find multiples is using a Hunter's chart like this, all right? My fives, for example, there's five. I add five more, one, two, three, four, five, I have 10. I add five more. One, two, three, four, five. I have 15. And I'm gonna begin to see a pattern emerging here, okay? And I can list my multiples of five up to 100 on my hundreds chart here, okay? Going back and forth like that. But there's some pretty cool patterns that emerge if we get into different numbers, okay? So take my three, for example. There's my three, so that my three times one. What's my three times two? Jamiroquois? Three times two is six. Six, I have some fruit bar, okay? Here's my pattern, I skipped two, okay? All right, what's three times three? My next multiple. Um, Billy Bob Joe? Nine. Nine, oh wow, very nice. Nine, okay. My next one, we're gonna make an interesting pattern here. What's my next multiple of three? Gary Von Gerickson? What? Yes, 12, wow, Gary, very nice. Okay, my 12, look, I skipped one, two, three. Okay, Careful. what's my next multiple? Um, I can't remember your name. What? Yeah, I can't remember your name. No, you Runs with, um, hmm. <coughs> oh, yeah, cough, cough, yeah, sorry, sorry, thank you for running me. Yes, cough, cough. 15. 15, okay, all right. My next one? 18, my next one, 21, my next one, 24. Do you see the cool pattern emerging there? I can keep going like that, okay? My next one, 30, and it continues like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. See that cool pattern begins to emerge? Prime numbers especially make really interesting patterns like that. They're really cool, okay? But all you need to know for this is that multiples just means a number that you can add up, okay, to make other numbers or groups of that number. So multiples of five, five, 10, 15, 20, so on and so on. Multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12, 15. The word multiples just means I'm taking that number and I'm multiplying it Okay? Do other numbers it can make. Now, the one thing to know that's different is if I ask you, is 37 a multiple of two? Right? You'd have to figure out, can I do two groups of anything to get 37? Okay? That's what that's, that question is asking you to find out. If I ask, is 37 a multiple of two? It's asking you, can I do two groups of any number to make 37, okay? 
and I could go along here, counting by twos, I would see here that I would skip 37, counting by twos, okay? The same way, if I say is 22 a multiple of three, I'm asking three times something equals 22. Is it possible to times to have a certain number of groups of three that equal 22? And I can see here that I skip 22. So 22 is not a multiple of three. Okay? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and feed your houseplants. I want to eat them.